All right, everyone. This is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome to Max, an artistic journey. So uh, I've been given uh, a key by the developer to try this game, and I've been really excited to try this out. Uh, from the Steam page, here's the description. Max, an artistic journey is a retro-style, top-down, turn-paced RPG filled with mini-games, monsters, and most of all, heart. Developed by a devoted dad who made a game with his son about his son's autism. So that alone has made me very interested in trying this game out and learning about it. And I did play uh, about 10 minutes of the game and already I fell in love with uh, the little 10 year old boy Max. I, I really love him. And I love the fact that uh, a dad took the time to uh, make a game about his son and to try to raise awareness about autism. Now, there is one little caveat. Um, and uh, it has been suggested that this game has, uh, uh, you know, like alludes to some, some kind of anti-vaxxers movement or something like that. Listen, I do not get into any political stuff in any of my videos, so I'm not going to do that here. I, you know, I don't think that's in this game, but I've seen some people mention that it might be and... If it is, I'm for the most part ignoring it. I'm not going to be delving into any symbolism. I'm just going to pretty much accept the game as it is. And um, But for the most part, I, other than like the first 10 minutes of play, we're going to, uh, you know, there's going to be a blind playthrough. So uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, there, You can play the game with a keyboard, uh, but I am using a uh, controller. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I see there's my little mouse there. All right, so as you can see, there are keyboard controls. No, 99% of the game can be played with just a mouse. You only need the control key on your keyboard to jump. Uh, press the right mouse button or the escape key to open the menu and save your game also anytime. Blah, blah. So you can play that and, you know, we'll skip that. Here's uh, controllers. So very simple. We, can, we have a menu. We can uh, jump around and cancel actions, an action button, and a, a dash. So uh, without further ado, let's just keep Keep on and get to the story. We just received the test results and can give you a conclusive answer. Max is a very intelligent boy with a lot of creativity and a vivid imagination. However, a lot of the signs are here. His peculiar accent, his lack of empathy, his fixation on dinosaurs, his rigid behavior and meltdowns, his wandering eyes. Max is autistic. What are we going to do? everything we can to give him a happy life. Now I understand there has been a little bit controversy or perceived controversy over the idea of using a puzzle piece as a symbol for autism. I'm not really going to comment on that, but you know, that that is a thing I've heard of. Max. Wake up, little dude. It's time to get up, buddy. <laughs> Look at little Max. Max is a 10 year old boy who was diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder, ASD. To help Max with his ASD, his dad drew him several pictograms like this one on your left. Oh, I can see picto number one on the desk there. Click it to add it to your collection. Okay, so we can move Max around and we're going to go to the pictogram here. If I can control him. Picto number one. I need to turn on the lights in my room. I guess that was, 
Max talking there. For a lot of people with an autism spectrum disorder, a fixed routine can be a great source of comfort and security. Max, for example, must perform many daily tasks in a specific order. If this procedure is broken, he will start to feel anxious. It's as if he uses a to-do list in his mind and needs to check each task, singularly, one at a time, in order to feel some control over his environment. Right, in fact, I have to turn on the lights first. Okay, so we're controlling Max and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the lights. In fact, I don't like it when it's dark. In fact, Gigi, my father's girlfriend, gave me a black flashlight that I can keep all the time, even at school. Oh, and sometimes I pretend that there are evil creatures in the dark and I can zap them with my flashlight. Great, you now have the skill flashlight. Oh, what happened? Oh, we're going into an RPG battle already. We've got to fight the forces of the darkness. Max has a vivid imagination. He loves to make up stories to help deal with his environment. In his in his imaginary world, there are three very important criteria. HP represents the number of hit points, MP represents the number of magic points, TP represents the number of technique points for special skills. Careful, sometimes if the HP points fall to zero, the game is over for Max. If Max gets hurt, he can use the magic spell, put some ice on it, to make it hurt less. Have fun! All right, so we can attack. We uh, we can attack one of the the creatures. We can use special moves. We have the flashlight. Use the flashlight one enemy or flashlight all, but that requires 30 TP points, and the magic is pretty loud in battles. We have uh, magic abilities. We can scream to stun all enemies or uh, put some ice on it to heal a bit, and we can just guard and use items. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and let's try. Uh, let's. Tr uh, we can't use this flashlight all yet, so let's just do magic and let's scream to try to stun all the enemies. So, all of them. Alright, stun one. They hit me. They hit me again. Alright, and... Oh, I can do my flashlight all. Let's go ahead and do that. On all of them. Ooh. My flashlight took care of all the bad guys. All right, we've picked up a bunch of items, and Max levels up, all right. Oh, right, I have to turn on the light first. Ta-da! Click, let there be light. Oh, LOL. <laughs> picked on number one, turn on the lights, done. Great job, Max. Okay, are we back in control? Okay. Uh, there is another one, pictogram number two. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Picto number two, I have to get dressed before breakfast. Max needs clear points of reference. Everything has its place, everything in its place. Clutter is a source of anxiety for him, as he loses his bearings. His clothing drawers, for example, must comply with his storage rules, otherwise it becomes very annoying. That said, he is still a 10-year-old boy. Putting away his clothes is far from a priority to him, and so he growls every morning when it's time to get dressed. Oops, in fact, I have to get dressed before I get up to e go up to eat. Okay, my clothes are in the drawer with the teddy bear. In fact, he's not a teddy bear. He's the animatronic Freddy Fazbear from the game Five Nights at Freddy's. Alright, awesome. Great reference. My dad doesn't really want me to play this game because I'll get scared. Well, I'm not scared. In fact, Scott Cawthon created this game. My best friend Adam loves this game. In fact, he never played it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, there's a TV or laptop. Or right. in fact, that's my laptop computer. In fact, I love to play games, watch funny videos, and also draw my favorite characters. Oh, and I have a new game called Vaccination. It's very cool. Uh, okay, so here we're going into one of the many mini games of the game, and this has been a source of controversy. The fact that there's a vaccination mini game here. Not sure what it means, but it is pretty cool. Now, it is kind of hard to... I'm controlling the hypodermic needle there. And I'm trying to dodge all that stuff while getting power-ups. And I can shoot. I forgot that I can shoot there. And I need to try to dodge this stuff. It's like a bullet hell. So, there's all sorts of power-ups to get. I don't know 
you know, again, I'm not going to delve into any symbolism about this. If there is, I'm oblivious to it. I'm just going to play the game. So all I'm trying to do is enjoy it. Um, because I care about kids very much. And anything that can, you know, I'm, I'm like staying to the bottom and I could... God, I'm not doing very well. I don't know if there's a way to beat this. I think there is. But this is only a mini game, so it's not uh, representative of the game as a whole. Man, this is hard to control. There's like a, a delay from when you uh, input, you know, left or right to when you actually turn. And I believe that's on purpose. All right, these guys are shooting straight down. I'm gonna die, but I don't know if there's any particular rewards for playing and beating these mini games. Some healing there. I need that. All right, there we go. Now I'm shooting extra. Oh no! Oh no! Give me some help. All right. I know there is a at least a boss in here. I don't know if there's more. Uh, la the when I played before, I, I oh god, I'm getting blasted. When I played before, I died just before I got to him. Let's see if I can do any better. Um, now one comment I do gotta make that's a little bit annoying is the, the, the audio in this game is kind of all over the place. Like some areas it's really quiet and then in some areas it's pretty loud. So hopefully you can hear me pretty decently at the moment. I don't know what this power up is. Oh God, what are all these? Oh, they're so small and they're shooting a lot. No, ah, no. Okay, hey, ooh, warning incoming boss, all right. What was that? Oh, I think I actually have bombs that I can drop. Oh, God, oh, good. Oh my God, bullet hell, oh no! Oh God. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm not gonna make it, can I get him? Does he have a health? I don't see health, no, I died. Okay, anyway, that is not the point of this game. <laughs> Again, I don't know if there's any rewards, you lost. Alright, here's your mini game results, your last game results, blah, 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 okay, just, that's my stats. Alright, let's move on, there's a toy chest there, in fact, that's my toy box, in fact, all my blocks are in that trunk, it is important to store them so I don't step on a block and wake everyone if I get up at night to go to the bathroom. Ouch! Alright, he's so cute. Uh, oops, I'm jumping on the bed. Max, stop jumping on your bed! Oops, oh no, I got yelled at. Uh, Alright, we need to pick, put on our clothes. Erg, I hate this drawer. In fact, I can't find anything in in there. In fact, every morning it's the same. Oh, you can see his anxiety. So over here on the right-hand side is his anxiety meter. I'm not sure what happens when it goes up, and I guess this is our current goal. In fact, every morning it's the same. Oh, God, his uh, anxiety is going up. Breathe, Max. No need to get upset. Huh? Max suffers a lot from anxiety, as you can see on the display in the upper right corner of the screen. All through the day, Max will find tools and special techniques to help him better deal with his anxiety, with your help, of course. Okay. Oh, I, I did play this. Okay, picto number two. Help Max find his clothes by explore, exploring the drawer. Good hunting. Okay, so, in fact, that's my magic flashlight. Alright, uh, so we gotta find those pieces of clothing around. Oh, is that, are you helpful? In fact, do you want to save your progress? Yes, I've been told to save progress in this game uh, relatively often because um, it, is, it is buggy. Oh, we found my shoes, okay. I guess we'll keep going this way. Um, it, it, again, it's a new game, so... Apparently has some bugs, so we'll see. You know, I don't expect I don't expect any game to be completely bug free. So what is that? Oh, that's some bad guys. That was some bad guys. Oh, 
what are those guys they got red puzzle pieces um, there's a lot of them so let's go ahead and scream at them let's do that yeah scream oh I got two of them stunned and what the other guy did I don't know what he did but uh, special can I flashlight them all yes I will flashlight all of them yeah took out two of them and I'll just attack the last one he's blinded <laughs> I think uh, he did something at me all right come on let's kill him or defeat him Max doesn't kill anybody he's a good boy all right victory all right we got uh, some items there all right so we got to be careful there are enemies roaming around oh I think I see a piece of clothing there got that uh, I think that's another enemy let's fight it let's see if we encounter something there. oh my god we found something different look at those guys Wow, look, this is interesting that they have, I, I know I said I didn't want to get into the symbolism, but they're showing all these puzzle pieces and stuff. That's kind of interesting to me. All right, uh, let's try our, uh, let's do the scream again. I like that. All right, I stunned two of them. That's pretty good. Um, and then I can do special. I'll flashlight all of them. At the very least, hoping to weaken them, but I completely obliterated them. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Alright, bottle water antidote. So, we can actually go into our items here and see uh, what's what. So, this gives hit points, brings an ally back, okay. Uh, treats po poison and gives magic points, okay. So, I guess we are going to get allies. Alright, let's... Uh Oh, I, there's a jump button. I can jump. Oh, there's my... Uh, oh, no. I got into a fight. But I saw my hoodie. Okay. Um, I think that was a good thing we did before. So let's... Uh, not special. Magic. Uh, we'll go ahead and scream at them. My anxiety is uh, in the middle range up there. I only got to stun one of them. Um, let's try the scream again. Now, I, I think after every battle... Oh, that didn't work. Uh, but I do have my flashlight off. I think after every battle, we our hit points and everything reset. So let's check. So I'm at 910 hit points. Let's see what, what it's at after battle. Um, yeah, it looks like it reset. Okay, so that's good. So items are just for... Come on. All right, I got my hoodie. Nothing up there. We'll keep searching. I see something here. There you go. My t-shirt. No, give it to me. All right, picked it up. I see something walk in the corner over there. It looks like my socks. Oh, uh, got my socks. Now I need my pants. Where are my pants? No, oh, I can't go through there. Stuck. I see my pants. All right, we'll get the pants. All right. Choose your clothes and get dressed. Done. Good job, Max. You can now use these items of clothing in the key items part. The items are going to try it and see what happens. Okay. Um, items. Key. I oh, there's more slots. All right. Key items. And socks. A pair of socks with the magic to speed up. Hey, all right. We'll use that on Max. Uh, underwear. Some clean underwear with the magic of wind. Is that supposed to be a joke? Breaking wind? T-shirt, a clean t-shirt with the power to provoke. Okay. Pants, a pair of strong pants that you can hit hard. Uh, shoes, a pair of shoes that can dance the foot loose. Okay, put that on him. And last but not least, a hoodie so nice it can paralyze. All right. All right, so I think, I think that gave us new abilities, yeah. So we have new special moves now. And we have some new magic, so cool. We'll look into those when we get into some combat. All right, uh, I think we're done with there. Papa, I got dressed. Papa, Papa, Papa. Oh, he's looking for dad. Can I check the toys? Uh, I'm gonna jump on the bed again. Max, stop jumping on your bed. <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk to... In fact, I love my giant-sized king of monsters. 
In fact, do you want to save your progress? Yes. All right, we'll go ahead and save our game there. And I think we're done here, right? Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go out, leave our room, and we're in the house. Oh, looks like we gotta turn on the light. Ta-da! Okay, uh, what are we supposed to do next? It's still showing that we're supposed to get dressed. Um, but I thought we did that already. So maybe it's just the, you know, it doesn't clear the last goal. Um, there's somebody walking down there. There's a bar over here with swords. There's a TV. Is that an enemy in the house? We'll skip that for a moment. Let's go over here. In fact, I don't like it in here. It's scary. Okay, all right. We won't go in there. We don't want uh, his anxiety to go up. So let's talk to this person over here. Can we jump on their bed? Uh, looks like we can. Can we interact with that? All right, let's talk to the person. Hey, Jimmy, you know what? Thursday is always pizza day, and I can eat three slices. Oh, and in the game Five Nights at Freddy's? Morning, Max. It's m Monday, by the way. Huh? Jimmy! You have a mustache! No, I don't. Yes, you have a mustache! Oh my god, extreme close-up. Right, look at you, you got a little dirt on your face there. <laughs> you can see that? Yes, you have a mustache. Huh. You look like Mario Brothers. It's -a me, Jimmy. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, my friend told me a joke. You want to hear it? Um, sure. Knock, knock. Huh? You're supposed to ask, who's there? Who's there? Little old lady. Huh? Ugh. You're supposed to ask, little old lady who? Oh, little old lady who? I didn't know you could yodel. Huh? Oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on, let's go upstairs. Little lady who was at the door and could yodel. Ha ha ha. Jimmy joined the team. Hey, all right, we got a party member. All right, uh, let's check out your stuff, Jimmy. Oh, you got a uh, N64 there. I want to play your N64. Or is that a game? No, that's N64. Can we rummage through your things? No. All right. We'll leave. Oh, what happened? Why did he scream? Oh, he's getting anxious. Oh, oh no. Again with those spiders in my room. Come back. Come, Max, let's get rid of them. Huh? In fact, my teacher, Miss Caroline, told us that we shouldn't kill insects and spiders in the schoolyard because they are living things. No, that's true, but like Dad said, insects live outside. That's their home. Inside, it's ours. Come. Uh, in, in fact, spiders are not insects. Oh my god, his anxiety is going way up. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to kill it. We don't want to kill it. Um, was there anything to look at over here? There's an enemy over there. Uh, let's fight the enemy so we can see what Jimmy can do. Can we? Hello? Okay. Uh, bleh, who left food on the floor? In fact, it looks like someone sneezed. <laughs> Ew, that's not. That's nasty. It's boo. <laughs> Ew, he found snot on the floor. That's what it is. All right. Um, let's go ahead and magic scream. We can paralyze something. Uh, let's just scream. And okay, we input all our commands first. So Jimmy's going to do what? Uh, let's see a special headshot. Aim and shoot like a boss. Double hit. Hit two enemies. Hit hard. Hit three enemies. That takes twenty. Is that ma special? Oh, we can't do that yet. All right, we can't do any of these yet. So what's this magic? Speed up, slow down. Uh, put some ice on it or scream. And let's just at let's just attack with him. We'll attack glue. Oh, it's glue. That's glue that we found on the floor. Oh no, we're getting hit. All right. Okay. Um. Do I have my flashlight? Yes. Flashlight off. So he's going to flashlight all of them, and then Jimmy's going to special. I still can't triple hit yet. So let's just attack somebody. Let's attack the glue C. All 
Alright, everybody gets blasted. And then Jimmy punches that one in the face. Alright, victory! Uh, we get a bunch of items. Bye-bye! Alright. So <laughs> it was just glue on the floor. He thought he said it would look like snot. Alright, we're not gonna we're gonna leave the, the bug alone. Uh come Max. We'll get rid of these pesky spiders. Oh no, I gotta fight them. I have to come Max. We, oh damn it. We have to fight these. Why we gotta kill them? Oh, we could jump. Oh, oh. alright. Well, <laughs> I jumped right into combat. Ew, they're nasty. Oh, they've got green puzzles. Uh, don't forget, if you need to feel better, you can grab a juice box out of your items, for example. Okay, um, special. Oh my god, look at Max's face. Is that because of his anxiety level? Um, we can't flashlight all yet. So how about a scream or wind? Deals damage. Paralyze. Let's scream every uh, everybody. Special. Can't get that triple hit yet. So let's just attack the one in front. Alright, Max screams. And Jimmy punches the first one. Oh, is Jimmy poisoned? Alright, uh, I have my flashlight on. Okay, so we're going to do that. And I think I have my triple hit up. So we'll do that as well. Alright, there's the flashlight. And that just <laughs> wipes them all out. Holy shnikes. Get a bunch of items. All right. Uh, okay, his anxiety came back down. Oh, seeing the bugs was making him anxious. Oh, there's another pictogram. Picto number three. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Autism spectrum disorders vary so much that it's difficult to categorize them. For example, some people will have a hard time communicating verbally, others won't. Some will have very refined motor skills and others won't be able to hold a fork. Similarly to neurotypical people, everybody's different. When it comes to Max, one of the consequences of his ASD is an attention deficit disorder as well, ADD. He has trouble keeping his concentration up, especially when dealing with a subject that does doesn't really interest him. Well, me too. So Max takes a medication at breakfast every morning to help him deal with his ADD. This little pill allows him to concentrate better in school, reducing his frustration of not having listened to the instructions of his teacher. So yes, I know, I know the uh, ADD medications and stuff are kind of controversial. Uh, can we just ignore that for this and let's just have fun and not worry about the, the that argument? All right, we're going to go ahead and go up. We are nearing the end of this episode, though. Let's check this here. Um, we'll go and see. What's this? In fact, I can't go outside right now. Silly. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's just the exit. There's a bathroom here. I don't think we need to do it. Oh, there's a uh, save point here, I think. All right. In fact, do you want to save? Yep. So we're going to save our game there. And let's go ahead with the last few minutes. Go ahead and talk to that. Hopefully, it doesn't take very long. Good morning, boys. I made you breakfast. Come and sit at the counter before it gets cold. Oh, and Papa? What is it, Max? In fact, I got dressed. He can see that, Max. Oh, and Papa? Yes, buddy. Jimmy has a mustache. Oh, yeah? Cool. You're getting old, you old, you geezer. <laughs> can we please just eat in silence? <laughs> Fine, come on. All right, we can just go ahead and eat. All right, <laughs> we just <laughs> snapped into place. They're eating, synchronized eating there. Good, Max, did you take your pill? Oh, that was delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Love chocolate spread. Perfect, I left your pick though, number four on the couch. At least I think it's on the couch. Go get your breakfast and pill done. Great job, Max. All right. So we finished that. And uh, all right, guys. So we're going to end things here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.